Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about romance books that have weddings in them. Baby, baby. I love a good romance book that has a wedding in it. These books specifically are all weddings involving the couple. So the couple is going to the wedding. I know my lovely friend Tori from Novel Life, I'll link her video down below. Um, she posted a video with wedding weddings and romance books um that i watched a couple days ago it was amazing go check it out but hers more so was that there's a wedding involved in the plot somehow or the characters are attending a wedding or something along those lines these are all romance books where the characters are the people getting married i love a good wedding and i think these books work with weddings in an amazing fun way so let's get right on into the recommendations first i'm going to talk about chasing cassandra by lisa Kleypas. this is book number six in the ravenel series and i adore this one and so do many others this is the romance between cassandra and Tom. Cassandra is like the last, I think one of the last Ravenels to get married um, and all she wants is to have a husband. She wants to get married so badly and so she asks her cousin who is not married yet, why don't we get married like you and I both like each other, not in like that way, but like we both will be good spouses to one another. I just want a husband and I want a family of my own. Let's just get married. And her cousin is like, no, like you deserve someone to love you and everything. Like you need to find a real husband. And Tom Severin is overhearing this conversation. He's in the same room, kind of like in the shadows. He overhears this conversation. And right when he sees Cassandra, he's like smitten with her. He loves her and all her curves because she's a very curvaceous woman. And right when he sees her and hears this conversation, he like pops out of the shadows and is like, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I want to marry you. There's also this cute scene between them that I love that before they get married They have to like pull up like make a contract to one another They're making like a list of demands that they want out of this marriage and that scene was so Funny and cute. I love it. Yeah, I love this one. It's definitely one of my favorites a part of the Ravenel series Next I have the royal we by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. This one definitely has a wedding in it as you can see by the cover um, This book is very much inspired by William and Kate in their romance story except that our Kate character in here. She's actually from America and whenever she meets our fictional Will in this case, they go to the same college together. So she's an American, he's a royal and they both go to the same college um, and then they meet, they become friends and it grows into something more. One of the main conflicts in the book is the heroine trying to deal with the public and being in the public eye um, because of course she's not used to it she's in a royal herself but this is all leading up to their royal wedding very much like William and Kate if you want a good William and Kate retelling or William and Kate inspired story this is definitely the one to pick up there's much discussion about weddings in here of course it's a royal wedding next I have Wicked Abyss by Cressley Cole this is currently the last book out in the Immortals After Dark series this is the romance between Cian and Calliope I think I think that's the couple in here sorry there's so many books in the series this is book number 17. <laughs> Calliope is this long lost fey princess and Cian is like the overseer of kind of like what you would picture as the underworld and he's kind of turning into a devilish creature because he is ruling over the underworld so he's becoming like having red skin and horns and a tail. Cian believes that Calliope is the reincarnation of his previous mate who rejected him and so he comes across Calliope and he's like this is my mate reincarnated I'm gonna pay her back for what she did to me. Even though Calliope has no idea what is going on, she does not know that she's a reincarnation of this woman. Um, and so he basically takes her to the underworld with him and locks her up in a tower. Um, little does he know that Calliope is a freaking bad A and will do literally anything to escape his clutches. This one gives me a lot of Hades and Persephone vibes in here. I can't really tell you the wedding part in here because that would be a spoiler, but there is a wedding in here, just by the way. Um, and this is one of my favorite books in the Mortal Stuff of the Dark series. It's so fun and I love a good Hades and Persephone retelling. Next I have The Winter King by C.L. Wilson, another all-time favorite of mine. This is a fantasy romance and this is the romance between Kamsin and Winter. This fantasy world that they are in deals with weather magic. So Kamsin Crimson has storm powers and winter has winterish, winterish snow powers. Um, so winter is king of I think like the winter realm and then Kamsin is the daughter to a summer king. And so apparently like the summer king did something bad to winter years ago and so winter's trying to get back at him. He basically tells Kamsin's dad like um, if I don't marry one of your famous daughters, he has three famous daughters, they're called the daughters of Summerlee, then I will invade your land. And so the king is like oh crap what do i do and then he remembers he has a daughter he has kept up 
in his tower for years. He's never let her out of the castle before because he despises her. And that is Camzen. No one knows that Camzen exists. She's not one of the famous daughters of Summerlee. He's kept Camzen a secret for forever because I believe her mother, so his wife, died giving birth to her, and so he's always held a resentment towards her. The king of Summerlee decides to trick Winter and to present him with a bride that is not one of his famous daughters. It's the daughter he despises. And so Winter and Camzen get married, and Winter has no idea that uh, Camzen is not one of these famous daughters while they are getting married because she's like covered in gossamer and completely covered head to toe in clothes and like he can't really see her face and so they get married and he doesn't realize that he's been kind of like fooled until after he's been married to her. If you want a romance with a great banter this one is definitely the one to pick up. The two of them banter like crazy. They both do not want to be married to each other at the beginning. Camzen has no choice. Her father is forcing her to do this and Winter has no idea he's not marrying one of the famous daughters. So needless to say, both of them are pretty pissed that they have to get married to one another or they had to get married to one another. But of course they end up falling in love with one another. I love this romance. If you want to go to fantasy romance, this one is definitely the way to go. Don't let the cover fool you. Some people are very put off by the cover, but the story inside is just amazing. Oh my goodness. Of course we have my favorite romance. We have Radiance by Grace Draven. There's a wedding literally in chapter one or chapter two between the two characters. Ugh. This is so good. So this is an arranged marriage romance. It's another fantasy romance. There's a, quite a few fantasy romances in here. So this is a romance between Ildiko and Brishan. Ildiko is a human woman and Brishan is a Kai man. Kai are creatures, beings that look like humans, except they have gray skin, yellow eyes, sharp teeth and they have claws yeah um so they're like fantastical creatures but they don't coexist with humans like they don't coexist like they don't mix at all like kai live in the kai lands and human live in the human lands but then brishan and ildiko are both spares to their kingdom and their kingdoms want an alliance and so they put the two of them in an arranged marriage to form said alliance and so the beginning of this book is about them being in an arranged marriage they end up getting married to one another but right when they get married they become really close friends and then it grows into something more throughout their marriage and oh my gosh it is so good this is like the epitome of a friends to lovers romance y'all know i love this book it's my favorite romance book ever please 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 pick this one up then i have another favorite y'all a lot of these are my favorites on here um we have this book right here <laughs> we have uh the king's spinster bride by ruby dixon y'all I love this one so much. Even though it's very short, I feel like it packs a huge punch, y'all. This is so entertaining, so much fun, full of romance for how short it is. So this is the romance between Hala and Mathior. So Hala, she used to be a princess to these lands, Yashrem, and she was queen, I think for like 15 minutes, <laughs> a total of 15 minutes. So basically her father, before her father died, she, he ended up kidnapping the son to the to the son to the king of the cyclops so the prince cyclops they're not actually cyclops they're just people who only have one eye because they the warriors remove their eye to sacrifice to the gods once they become a man so they're called the cy cyclope cy cyclope cyclope i don't remember <laughs> um but they're called the cyclops and so he kidnaps the king's son in hopes to control him However, the king of the Cyclops is not having that and he comes to take over Yushrem, like the whole kingdom to take over it. And so while the king of the Cyclops is taking over their land, Princess Hala decides to keep the boy safe that her dad has kidnapped because um, other people want to kill him for what his father is doing taking over their lands. And so she keeps him safe and then her father dies and she's queen for a total of 15 minutes until the Cyclops King comes to take his son back and take over their land and his son speaks up for her and is like this this girl saved me do not kill her please and the dad is like okay great but you are shunned now like you're in exile you cannot come here come back here and she's like okay so she gets um shunned to a different land and she's been living in this nunnery for the past like 15 years i don't remember the exact number but around that number um it's years later and she has decided she's just gonna be a spinster for the rest of her life living in this nunnery but then but then one day a very handsome big man comes to see her one day in the nunnery and little does she know that that's the little boy that she kept safe all those years ago 
and he wants her to be his wife and to rule Yushrim with him. This is a little bit of an age gap romance. Uh, he is a little younger than her. This is just so good because he has been thinking about Hala ever since she left. Like that's all he's been thinking about. He hasn't been with another woman ever. All he's wanted is Hala. <laughs> Um, and Hala's kind of like baffled by this. She's like, you're a future king. You're beautiful and strong and amazing. Why do you want a old spinster like me? And he's like, girl, I've been thinking about you nonstop. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, I love this one so much. And he asks her to marry him, obviously. But the thing is, oh, this is one of my favorite things ever about this book when it comes to weddings. In this book, <laughs> in the, the Cyclops, rituals in order to get married you have to do three rituals that are really hot <laughs> this one will get you hot and bothered okay this one will <laughs> next i have a kind of like novella bind up we have rose rush in by tessa dare and christy caldwell there's only like one book in here that has a specific like wedding scene in it the other one the christy caldwell story the couple's already married so there's not specifically a wedding but the tessa dare story there is a wedding. So the Tessa Dare book in here, this is a romance between uh, Sebastian and Mary. And so Mary is uh, Sebastian's best friend's sister. However, Mary's brother, so Sebastian's best friend ended up dying, I believe in war. And so ever since then, he's been like trying to keep Mary safe and always looking out for her. But then um, Mary is put in this kind of like arranged marriage situation and the groom never shows never shows and she's kind of like really embarrassed and then Sebastian's just like well I'm not gonna I'm, I'm I have to help her so he's like I'll marry you instead and so they have to get married and little do they know that the other person has been hardcore crushing on them for so stinking long this one is really cute if you want a really fun novella that's a historical this one is definitely a good one to pick up next I have one dance with a duke by Tessa Dare so another Tessa Dare for you this one is about Spencer who is the Duke of Moreland and he is an exclusive member of the stud club I can't really describe it okay it's a club dealing with horses and stuff like that but then his love interest in here is lady amelia and apparently amelia's brother is indebted to spencer and so she sees him at a ball one day and like takes him for a waltz to like talk to him about what is going on with her brother to like help her brother out and um spencer's just so put off by her um he's like why is this woman talking to me like get away from me but then they are put in a compromised situation and they have to get married to one another this one isn't necessarily my favorite tessa dare but i do think it's funny how their marriage got about so yeah if you want to pick this up go right on ahead the audiobook for this one is actually pretty good then i have between dawn and dusk by jamie schlosser this is the first book in the between dawn and dusk series and this is a novella however it's a novella that is done really 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 well so this is about kurth and zella they are from rivaling families so kurth is king this is a fantasy romance by the way so kurth is the king to the night realm zella is the daughter to the prince of the day realm so she is princess of the day realm so night and day realm opposing forces here right when um kurth and zella see each other for the first time they, they can see the their mating bond snap into pay into place like they know that they are mates and so when zella goes and tells her father that she's found her mate and who he is her father is not happy about this and he goes and locks her in a tower and so this romance is about kurth coming to rescue zella from the tower and taking her away and then performing a wedding ritual on themselves the, their wedding ritual and how you get married is very different than what we do here you don't need a priest and everything you just need certain things in this fantasy land in order to get married to one another and this one was really cool this is kind of like the pre-story to the fey king's curse by jamie schlosser um which was that blind fey king one that i really liked um and so this is about that hero's parents and how they met and got married and everything but i really recommend reading this one maybe even before you read the main book in the series because this is book Point five, but I do really recommend this one because this one is really good and I feel like it sets up the plot for book one very well. And lastly, I have Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. This one is a mafia romance that just had me freaking cackling. This one is about Ada and Callum and they are from rivaling mafia families, okay? And so Ada accidentally sets Callum's house on fire. 
<laughs> and their families are not happy about this situation, obviously. And so their parents, Callum's parents and Ada's parents are like, how are we gonna fix the situation? We don't wanna go to war with you. What can we do? And so they decided to put their children in an arranged marriage with one another, even though they do not like one another at all. And so there is a wedding scene in here and the heroine may or may not almost kill the hero during the wedding scene. <laughs> it's just full of banter, full of hilarity, full of hot times. Uh, Sophie Lark is an amazing writer. I loved the books that I have read from her so far. So I think this one was so good. And the wedding scene in here is honestly one of the funniest wedding scenes. Ever. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. Those are some wedding romance recommendations for you. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to, or if you don't feel like doing that, leave me any wedding related emoji down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.